Oh, hello there. Welcome. Come in, come in. You are my evening appointment, right? Yes, just let me check my diary. What's your name again? Okay. you are. Okay, so you'd like to play an instrument, but you don't know which one to choose. Is that right? Mm -hmm. We'll see together what can please you for a home trial. So, do you plan to learn by yourself or with a teacher? Oh, you already have good music skills? Good. Did you play piano when you were young? That's a good start. So, what kind of music do you usually enjoy listening to? Celtic music? Mm -hmm. So, you may like to play bagpipes, feather, Irish flute, or Celtic harp, maybe? Feather and Celtic harp. Okay, so. I'll show you a fiddle first. Mm -hmm. So, as you may know, there are four strings on a fiddle. G, T, A and E. And you create all the other notes with your left fingers on the fingerboard. These are F holes. They allow the plate to resonate more freely and let internal air resonance to travel outside the instrument. The final quality of the fiddle sound depends so much on the quality of the wood and these holes. There there is the bridge that supports the strings and you tune the strings here with the pegs and also with the fine tuners here. To play fiddle can be difficult at the beginning since it's a little bit tricky to get the right position with both your hands and the bow at the same time. So you have several things to think about, but once you get a nice and clear sound, you can have so much fun. So now what about try it? Okay, you're not very tall, so this one should be the right size. First of all, if you allow me, I'm going to put your hair behind your shoulder so the instrument won't pull them, okay? So, hold still, please. rest under your jawbone and this part here on your shoulder. It is your jaw and shoulder that holds the fiddle and not your arm. Okay, this is quite important. Okay, 
so now the neck of the fiddle must gently rest on your left hand you do not hold it okay just let it rest just yes yeah and your fingers must be able to move freely on the fingerboard so try not to bend your wrist like this but imagine there is a kind of ball here and just take this position okay let me help Good. How do you feel? Is that the right size? It's not too large? No? Seems good to me. Does it hurt your chin or your shoulder? We can even try another chin rest if you like. I've got one here. First one. Okay, so we'll keep the first one. Now let's give you a bow. There, let's try this one. It is the highest quality we've got here. So this is made with horse hair and you can stretch them with the little screw right here. So hold it. Okay, so you don't want to hold it like a fork or a pencil or even a sword you're not going to fight with it so gently hold it with all your fingers on what we call the frog at the best, yes like this let me help so you have them on this side and the other now place it on the strings yes, the size is perfect how do you feel? great so you can take this too for your home trial before purchasing mm -hmm. and now I'm going to pick up some music sheets to get you started do you need a fiddle method book? you've got an old one already? Six sheets only. Okay, just one second.
Let's have a look at this. So, these Celtic and traditional pieces are nice for beginners. They are quite easy and beautiful at the same time. You might already know some of them, so it will allow you to check if you're out of tune or not. So, there is one. three and four this one is a little bit more challenging it should be enough for one week but of course you can keep them longer these are free and when you feel more confident you can come back and try some scores with play along CDs, movie scores like this, which can be a lot of fun and it's not as difficult as it seems to be. Christmas school and oh, this is Progress, but I think you might like this style as well. And there's a CD. So these are for you. And now, would you like to try the Celtic harp? So you can decide which one you want to play or if you even want to play both of them yes so we've got two different types of Celtic harp there is this Celtic floor harp here and the smaller one which is called Troubadour harp so if you just want to try it at home I may suggest that you start with the Troubadour harp and then if you want you can come back and try this one but if you like it, the sound it has, it's okay to start with a small one. Okay, I'll show it to you. This harp has 22 strings, 3 full octaves, and a lovely carved sound box with floral patterns, which gives a nice medieval look. All our instruments are second hand and may have some scratches but this doesn't affect the quality of the sound. Celtic harps have this lever mechanism that lets you change the pitch of each string there's no pedal, you lift them up or down, depending on the note you want. Sometimes changes are made during the song and that will require a bit of practice. But don't worry, besides this, if you already know the piano, this instrument won't be that difficult for you. Now, would you like to try it just to see if you're comfortable with it? Okay, so I'll pick up a strap and we'll try.
so ein bisschen. So with this kind of harp, you can play while sitting down, holding the bass between your knees, mm -hmm. or you can wear a strap and stand up, depending on what you like the most. Shall we try the strap? How do you feel? Not that well? It's too heavy? Okay, so you may want to try the fiddle only first and if you want you can try the floor harp the next time you come mm -hmm. So, let's put it aside we've got here. You can listen to them at home, yes. It may give you a better idea if you really want to give the Celtic harp a try. Yes? Okay. So, let me see. three CDs so you can get an idea of the different styles of music we can get with the Celtic harp so this one is the first album of Lorilla McKinnit she's quite famous you might know her already she has enhanced her music with many other instruments along the years but this one is mainly harp and it is a nice introduction to authentic Celtic music the second one is one of my favorites 
this time this is Russian harpist and it's harp solos only his music will take you in fairy lands it is not his first release and he really has created a world of his own a very dreamy and elfish world I'm sure you will love it and his music is good for relaxation too and last one is from Canada again mainly with Celtic harp but there are some other traditional instruments like nickel harpa or cello and sometimes voice this one has a unique medieval flavor and some really compelling compositions so you take these three Now let me pack your fiddle and you'll be free to go. Now you are ready to play your favorite music. It might take some time, of course, but if you have some skills, you will enjoy it all the way, I promise. So, you've got a one week home trial and you'll come back to Dallas. Okay? Have a nice evening. <laughs>